such wonderful things so everyone can enjoy them like anthills and bird nest and butterfly wings but all David did was destroy them his mother had been planting flowers that day and in the sky blue birds were soaring the squirrels were chasing through oaks while they played but David found all of it boring there almost finished aren't these lovely David David dear come out and see the geraniums oh mom I don't wanna oh I'm sorry dear are you still memorizing your Bible verse for Sunday school oh Great. I forgot about this boring Bible verse. Ah, uh, I'll do it later. Well, when you're finished, don't forget to come out and see all the new flowers. Oh. Uh. Yes, what an improvement. I should plant maybe daffodils next or chrysanthemums. Hmm, or maybe nasturtiums. Huh. Clumsy? Holy cow. Oh, fuckless. What do I care? Dumb old flowers. What good are they anyway? David didn't have much use for flowers. He couldn't think of a thing they could be good for. As a matter of fact, David didn't see much good in anything. Stupid bird. Birds were not David's big favorites either. As a matter of fact, he didn't even hear the music in their songs. That's all we need. More birds chattering and chirping all day long. Who needs them? The troubles of motherhood. Our God has created such wonderful things so everyone can enjoy them. Like anthills and bird nests and butterfly wings. But all David did was destroy them. Now spiders spin carefully all the day through. And from their high webs, they can see us. The webs are like silk nets with glistening dew. But David had other ideas. Icky old spiders. I hate them. <coughs> Dumb old spider. What good are they anyway? Dumb old spider. What good are they anyway? David just didn't care about that spider and didn't care that she'd have to spin her web all over again. No, David didn't like spiders any better than he liked birds. But of course, David didn't like much of anything. Take, for instance, flower pots or squirrels or rabbits or young trees or old trees or fish ponds with frogs in them <laughs> rotten kid they're all dumb stupid things I'd destroy them all if I could our God has created such wonderful things so everyone can enjoy them. Like anthills and bird nests and butterfly wings. But all David did was destroy them. Yes, ants and their anthills work very hard too. And no one must urge them or prompt them. But David thought nothing of raising his shoe than bringing it back down to stomp them.
boy. It sure is quiet around here today. Am I ever bored? Hey, what's this? Big art exhibit today at the park. An art exhibit? I'll bet it's awful. But there's nothing to do around here. Oh, well. Good morning, David. So David decided that since there really wasn't much to do in his boring old yard, maybe he would walk down to some dumb old art show at the park. Besides, even if the art stuff was boring, he could always hang around the park and shoot some rocks at the birds. Balloons! Get your art show balloons right here! Balloons! Hey, mister! Where's all the art? <laughs> Why, it's all around you, son. You call this stuff art? I think it's all ugly. Now, now, don't be so quick to make a decision. Why don't you uh, look around a little? I'm sure you'll find something that's just right for you. I doubt it. <laughs> you'll never know if you don't give it a try. Gross. Messy. Ugly. Yucky. Weird. Have you seen anything you like yet? Nah. Why would anybody want to buy this junk? Have you looked in the sculpture garden? The what? The sculpture garden. You know. Statues, uh, things like that. It's right over there. <sighs> okay. Sculpture garden. They call this stuff art? I've seen better stuff in the dump. Lorenzo. The very curious peacock. A natural sculpture. Look at this thing. That's a pine cone for a head. Eh, and those are some kind of pointy seashells for a nose and snail shells for eyes. And the body is just a dried up old piece of driftwood. <laughs> and it's all stuck full of feathers. Lorenzo, you're ugly. <laughs> you're looking only with your eyes. What? Who said that? Oh, well. Hmm. I think I'll take one of those feathers. I can poke it down an anthill. Ouch! Stop that right this minute and put my feather back. Did you say something? I certainly did. Now, put my feather back right where you found it. And what if I don't? Suddenly. David found himself looking into Lorenzo's eyes. He was the largest and most beautiful bird the boy had ever seen. But he didn't tell him any of that. He was just too scared. Then, Lorenzo began to speak to him in a voice so filled with love and understanding that he just had to listen. Come, follow me. See the earth and see the sky Where flowers grow, where eagles fly Creatures low and creatures high It's God's wonderful creation See the mountains broad and tall Valleys wide and meadows small 
where the tiny bob whites call see God's wonderful creation see the sunshine golden bright and the moon and stars at night there to guide our paths with light see Wonderful creation See the animals at play Cats and aardvarks, larks and jays Buffalo and manta rays See God's wonderful creation All the plants and elephants Bring praise to him who made them And you can praise their maker too When great respect is paid there Now just take a look at you There's a maker made you not only made, but this too. The Maker's Son died for you to make you his new creation. A child, a son of God. See God's wonderful creation. get it. I don't get it at all. You will when you see just what God gave to get you, David, to get you as his own child. What? What are you talking about? David still wasn't quite sure what Lorenzo had been telling him. In fact, David wasn't sure if it had all happened or if it had been a dream. So he walked back by the landscapes and the still lifes, and the abstracts. And he walked by the man selling balloons. Young man, did you come across something you liked? Well, perhaps in the sculpture garden? Young man? Uh, young man? <laughs> but David didn't pay much attention to anything he passed by. All he could think about was the very curious peacock and what he had said about this new creation, about being a child of God. He even forgot all about shooting rocks at birds. On the way home, he forgot about stepping on anthills and knocking down spider webs and chasing rabbits and squirrels. He kept thinking of Lorenzo and what he had said. The peacock had spoken of wonderful things, like trees and ponds and butterfly wings. He told of God's care through Jesus, our friend, who brought us forgiveness, whose love never ends. Yes, David remembered. During the next few days, he thought again and again about his conversation with the curious bird in the park. Ah, oh, frogs and ants and birds don't have a purpose. Why did God make them? Hey, what's this? The Bible verse. I forgot all about it. Oh well, I guess I'd better get this memorized before Sunday. And God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. And God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. Then David began to watch. The baby birds had hatched and were beginning to learn how to fly. The mother bird took time to teach her babies how to flap their wings. And David remembered how his mother had taught him how to do things on his own. 
Those birds and the Bible verse reminded David that God loves his creation very much. He looked at the geraniums he had crushed. The warm sun and rain had helped them bounce back, and the flowers were growing strong and straight. The spider had woven her web again, and with the sun shining on it, it was truly beautiful. It was like, like the lace on grandmother's tablecloth. The ants had rebuilt their home again. David watched as two ants carried a load much, much larger than they were. How simple it was when they did it together. Good morning, Mr. Frog. What's got into him? Beautiful day, isn't it? Is that the same kid? Must be his twin brother. I'm sorry, God, for being such a rotten kid and wanting to destroy things all the time. This is your world, Father, and I was hurting your creation just for fun. But it wasn't real fun, God. It was just plain meanness, and I'm sorry. You see, God, I now see what Jesus went through just to forgive me. He must really love me to go to a cross, huh? So do you, right, Father? Thank you. Thanks for loving me, forgiving me, and giving me a new direction. Help me care for your creation, just as you care for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Please help me, Lord, that I can care for your creation, your flowers, and your crustaceans, your ants and your butterflies. And make me, Lord, to see that since you said that they're good, I'll treat them as I should. They're now so special to me. your fish and your birds. However hard the task is, and all that I would ask is, please help me remember your words. I want to Have you seen my watering can? I'll be through with it in a minute, Mom. Why, David, you're actually watering the flowers. Well, they look like they could use a drink. Uh, Mom, uh, could I put a bird feeder up in the old oak tree? Why, of course, David, but I didn't think you had much use for birds. Birds are our friends, Mom. And I wouldn't want my friends to get hungry. I can't believe it. You can say that again. Good morning, sir. Well, well, look who's back. You're turning into quite an art lover, aren't you? <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. Uh, sir, do you still have the sculpture garden here? Mm, sculpture garden? Why, uh, yes, I believe we do. Do you need directions to get there? Oh, no, sir. I know the way now. Hmm, very nice. Ah, this one's pretty. Interesting. Sculpture garden, here it is. Lorenzo, Lorenzo, I know what you were trying to show me now. Before, well, I just looked with my eyes. But now I've learned to look with my heart, too. Thanks a lot, Lorenzo. Uh, excuse me. Were you just talking to this dried up piece of driftwood with feathers stuck in it? Dried up piece of driftwood? This is Lorenzo. Well, it looks like a dried up piece of driftwood to me. Is that all you can see? 
You must be looking with your eyes instead of your heart. Hmm. I guess you must be right. Anyway, thanks again, Lorenzo. Sorry I can't stay and talk. Mom's gonna help me put up a bird feeder. We've got to take care of God's creation, you know? Oh, God has created such wonderful things. Take care not to tease or annoy them. A peacock had taken him under his wing so David could learn to enjoy them. And if in his pocket some rocks he should find, he'd beg all the chickadees pardon. God's love for creation would come to his mind, and he'd use them to build a rock garden. See the sky where flowers grow, where eagles fly, creatures low and creatures high. It's God's wonderful creation. See the mountains broad and tall, valleys wide. Where the tiny bomb lights call See God's wonderful creation See the sun shine golden bright And the moon and stars at night There to guide our paths with light Wonderful creation See the animals at play Cats and aardvarks, larks and jays Buffalo and manta rays See God's wonderful All the plants and elephants bring praise to him who made them. And you can praise their maker too when great respect is paid there. Now just take a look at you. There's a maker made you too. Not only man. But this too, the Maker's Son died for you to make you his new creation, a child, a son. 